All right, starting at the rocks again. This is the garden I'm building right here in the back beside the gate. I'm going to put morning glories in there, and then there's going to be lilies that are already here. They're dead for the year. And I'm going to make another garden beside that, that corner. Um, is compost right now, but it's not going to be. I'm going to do something with that. I'm not sure. But I'm going to have morning glories on either side of the, the lilies. I've got the morning glories. It's just getting late in the year. I've got like, it's August 1st. Well, it's July 31st. And I'm going to build, this is one great big garden. I've already tilled a bunch of it up. It's just a lot more work than I thought. There's a lot of roots and rocks. This is our monster butterfly bush. This thing grew from just a stick, put in a, you know, put in a basket, then planted it. It's monstrous now. Um, those are scarlet morning glories up there. I've got them separated. I want them to grow. There's the other side of the garden. It's got to be done. Here is my patio. It's come a long way since the last time I took this video. I've got 50 stones in now. They're 16 by 16 by 2 inch thick. They take care of all this dirt. You can see the mud right here that gets when we, when we water the deck. There's all the wood I'm going to use to build a workbench. I'm in the middle of getting everything set up. I'm building raised gardens on the side. And here is, here's the view from here. That's the work area. That's the nursery basically. There's another part of the nursery, the center of it. And then on this side is the raised gardens. This was all, this is all a nursery too. And I'll take you through the nursery in a minute. Those are all tomatoes I grew from seed. They're almost as big as the ones I got from the store. Now it is July 1st, they don't have tomatoes on them, but I had to start real late because of the, the work that we had done with the fence. The fence is beautiful. I had the fence and the deck done and it set me back well over a, about six weeks to a, two months. But it's coming together. Here's all the four by fours. They were around the fence. I asked them to save them. I didn't realize there were so many, but I'm going to build with them. This was all just dirt, and now, you know, it's still a little messy. i got to get some, pull some stuff up. But it's raised gardens. Kind of nice. And I've planted them. i got rocks in them that I've dug up, and I put the rocks in there because the dirt is very loose and the plants are some of them are very small so you water the rock instead of the instead of the plant and I will they'll be obscured once the plants get bigger and I will remove them next year once the dirt is settled and they're big enough that they won't I won't lose them they're pretty huge but I'll clean this all up and take better pictures and this back here is kind of a work in progress these are all going out front I haven't done the out front yet. And then this is the coneflower and roses. Roses are kind of done for the year. This rose hedge was 10 foot. It was six foot to eight foot tall and 10 foot wide and we trimmed it back. And our butterfly bush has really trimmed it back and it's really doing well. These are all black eyed Susans, purple coneflowers, um, yellow coneflowers, white coneflowers, and autumn sunset coneflowers. This wall is going to be redone. That's a rose bush that's kind of had it. And then Shasta daisies have got to go. This is sand and rocks for underneath the deck. This wall will be put away at some point. Let's hope. All right, so look, there's a nursery. Big old nursery. There's a um, forget-me-nots in the front. And then um, hibiscus. And vincas, and balloon flowers, and lots of marigolds, lots and lots and lots of marigolds, and um, cone flowers, a bunch of the Torah, and, and in front of them were the baby yellow cone flowers, and then uh, asters, tons of asters, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of zinnias, and four lima bean plants. And these are my tomatoes from seed. And in here are poppies. Poppies, 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 and daisies, celosia, pepper plants, more of the tons of the silver plecturnus, silver shields, a bunch of them, a bunch of balloon flowers. These are my coleus from seed. They grow. These are dill. These are exquisites. More poppies, more celosia from seed. Lots of asters, lots and lots and lots of baby asters. Look at the. Check this out. There's our celosia of already. They've already colored up, so I can probably put them in the garden. They're small. They've already gotten their flowers on them, so they're not going to get much bigger. And that's from growing too many in a 
confined space. There's daisies. There's a daisy. Another daisy. Another daisy. Another daisy. Another daisy. I'm really having a hard time with them. Can't get them to grow that good. Lots and lots of datura. More and more zinnias. Um, lots of basil. Lots of bigger. These are the kind of the bigger planters with the marigolds. There's a beautiful pepper right here. I'll do something with that one. I love him. These are dahlias. I got six different kinds of dahlias. About 18 of each. Every seed seemed to have popped. More fennel and dill and oregano. Um, lots of basil, much bigger basil over here. And then I've got lots of snapdragons. Another great big pepper with peppers on it in a bucket. There's a, um, a sage there. Obedient plants. These are moonflowers. One moonflower there. And over here, there are more moonflowers. There's another one there. And there's two more out here. i got to keep them separate because they grab each other, too. Two more moonflowers. Um, these are nasturiums. One of those are in the garden. I haven't grown them out yet. Can't wait for all these asters to start popping up. This is a big tray of coleus. I put a million seeds in there, just scattered them, and they all grew. I'm going to put them in the garden once I start getting these raised gardens ready. You can see that they're, I dig down very deep, and then I put good soil in, and you know, they're, these are growing. These are looking good. That's a great big tutorial right there. I can't wait for them to grow. They get two great big purple flowers on them, double trumpets. Oh, here's two more. more. Uh, Moonflowers. I can't wait for them. They have big five inch yellow flowers on them. There's the balloon flower. Here's more coleus that need to go in the ground. And here's the peppers. Lots of peppers, 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 peppers. These are all dahlias. More dahlias. These are the, uh, there's another Astoriums right there. There's a very tall uh, cosmos that I haven't put in the ground yet. This is my transplant table. Um, big basil. Lots of more coleus, coleus, coleus. These are all snapdragons, snapdragons. Vincas, I gotta do some with them. I've made baskets. I made two baskets of vincas and two baskets of balloon flowers from extras. These are all marigolds. This is marigolds. A whole bunch. Marigolds seem to be okay if you grow too many in a pot and they just you rip them out and plant them. They still seem to do okay. That's a bowl. That's a bowl of marigolds. A huge bowl. See that? A big bowl of marigolds. Let's look at the let's look at the peppers. There's a green pepper. These are all in containers. There's two big big old green peppers. There's a big one. And these are um cow horn. There's five on the plant. I gotta pull them off so it gets more. This is a, uh, a yummy bell, small bell, black pepper. Um, these are uh, Tabascos. They grow upwards. These are Cubanellas. Uh, these are habaneros. I got a ton of habaneros in here. Like, like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of habaneros. 20 or almost. Great big jalapeno. I'm only a single one right now. And then those are cayennes. These are, I use the CD containers, clear CD containers, and you plant in them. If you're planting in other containers too, and you can see when the roots, when it gets root bound, so you have to transplant. You can see because they're clear. It's kind of cool. Well, that is all I have for now. Beautiful.